Hey everyone, this will probably not come as a surprise to people following along on this channel, given what I do to my Yeti 1000, but I finally managed to brick it. That's right, it is completely bricked. Now I had a bunch of people comment on my Yeti reset video that they had a Yeti that got to this point where the screen was kind of frozen and well, it wouldn't do anything. And that's what I ended up doing here. You can see the AC plug is actually active. I can't turn it off. And believe it or not, the AC is working, uh, but I can't turn on any of the other ports. And this is the screen. It's just a scrambled mess. And well, at this point, you'd be pretty frustrated and you might be tempted to pick up the phone and call goal zero. But you know what? We're gonna open this thing up and we're gonna fix it ourselves. Let's do this. All right, so to get started, we're gonna need a four millimeter metric hex wrench. And those just go into these four uh, bolts at the top of the Yeti. And uh, they open up really easily. I don't think they're using any sort of thread lock or anything like that. And so you just basically uh, get those all loosened. You can pull them out and we'll take a look at the bolts. They are really actually quite nice. They're long and they do seem to be stainless steel. So that's pretty high quality stuff. And the handles just pull right out. So they seem pretty beefy plastic, maybe like an ABS. We'll put those aside. And at this point, uh, let's see what happens. I have not opened this up before. So <laughs> moment of truth here. Let's hope it's not something scary. Well, there's a lot of wires, but uh, yeah, so that's the inside of your Yeti if you've never seen it before. Um, now, right away I noticed this red and black wire here. It's pretty clear that this is probably the main power lead. So let's just disconnect that. Screen is off. And we'll go ahead and plug these back in. Let's see what happens. Look at that, nice and easy. So, once we get plugged and unplugged these, everything seemed to work. This came right back to life. So you just want to be careful when you have this thing open. You want to make sure not to touch anything. Uh, there's always an electrical uh, hazard here. And uh, once we've reconnected those wires, we can just go ahead and put it all back together again. And we're good to go. So that's all you got to do if you need to really hard reset your Yeti. And one thing I wanted to try here is I wanted to recreate the problem. So what I had done is I was running a load. I had 200 watts of this heat gun running and goal zero chat told me to restart it at uh, around 70 or 80% capacity so that it would maybe reset my power meter. And when I did that, that's when I got into the bad situation. So here you see me trying to recreate that same situation where I actually had it under load for AC and I did the two finger press to restart it. And uh, actually I did it twice or even three times and it bounced right back each time. So uh, you do have to wait a few seconds for this thing to come back. I would say wait 30 to even 40 seconds for it to fully restart. And you can see a real time version of that here. You do kind of sit and it can be a little nerve wracking, but just be patient. One other tip that I found is if it's being really slow, sometimes plugging it into the wall will kick it over. You see here, I happen to hit the light button. I had, don't think that had anything to do with it actually restarting. That was just luck. All right, so let's do a quick recap. If you just wanna reset the watt hour meter here, just hold down the unit button for a few seconds and you'll see now the watt hours are cleared out to zero. Next up, if your Yeti is acting weird, hold down the unit and info button for a few seconds. You'll see the screen kind of tweak out. You wait about 30 or 40 seconds and it should come back and be A-OK. -okay. So that is kind of a soft reset, kind of like, you know, restarting your computer, I guess. Um, now, you might end up with a situation where it is unresponsive and pretty much bricked like I just had here. And in that case, you want to do a hard reset by opening up the cover, disconnecting the black and red Anderson power pole connectors, 
connect them back up, put the four screws back in the top and you should be good to go. So hopefully those three scenarios will make it a lot easier when you're trying to debug what is up with your Goal Zero Yeti. So if you're watching this video, you're probably pretty stressed out. I hope that this fixes some of your problems. Just be careful. Remember, you're probably voiding your warranty and there's always a risk of injury. Now, as I was taking this thing apart, I realized I should probably do a little bit more of a teardown. So there will be an upcoming video where I take this thing apart and show you around a little bit more what's going on inside the Yeti. But that's a video for another day. Happy hacking, everyone. Please consider subscribing and comment below with your experience. Thanks for watching.